In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to program a GE remote control. Coming up next. Hey everybody, Rudy here from Take a Bath Productions with another video to hopefully add some value in your life with how-to videos. In this video, I'm going to explain how to program a GE remote. This particular one happens to be 33709, but it should be similar across the board. All right, let's dive right in. All right, everybody, here we go. Uh, here's the 33709. Uh, this one is a four-device remote control, uh, but they do have different models that go up uh, in the amount of devices they can control. Uh, one cool thing that I noticed about this remote is, is you can program... Uh, it does, this doesn't have to be cable. This doesn't have to be DVD. Uh, you can program any device to any of those buttons. Uh, the only drawback is, is you have to remember what you uh, put there. Uh, but it's kind of a cool feature uh, that lets you juggle stuff around a little bit. Um, here's the back of it, and of course, uh, if you don't have the uh, code list that it came with, that looks like this, you can go online and look up these codes. I'll leave a link in the description um, where you can find those codes at. When you go online, you'll have to uh, take the battery cover off and look here for a sticker right there. Um, this one says uh, CL4, that means code list 4 and uh, that'll give you the, the right code list for this remote. Okay, I'll start off with the simplest uh, way to program this. The most simplest way to program this is the direct entry where you put your code directly in there and hope that it works. There's another way called auto code search and I'll show you how to do that here in a minute, but uh, the most common way is the direct entry because more than likely you're gonna have the code that you need. Uh, we're going to start off with a simple one so, uh, for a TV, a Sony TV. Uh, you're going to want to you're going to want to push and hold setup until the red light glows on the power button. Push the device code that you're going to be controlling a TV in this case. Okay, my code for the Sony TV is one zero seven one. Red light went out. Let's try it. Okay, the TV came on. Let's make sure we have some volume and stuff like that. And we do. It's working. Okay, that's all there is to programming a TV. Pretty simple, right? Okay, that's how you do a TV. Uh, the other devices are basically the same uh, principle. You would just push a different button. Now remember what I said earlier. I could have put the TV over here on the DVD button or the auxiliary button. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, also, if that first code that you try in the list doesn't work, um, you have to redo the uh, procedure and try a different code. If you run out of codes, then you go to that uh, automatic code search I was telling you about earlier. And then, of course, if that doesn't work, then, well, take it back and get your money. All right, let's just try another one just for the sake of it. Um, we're going to do our uh, Bose soundbar. Uh, go ahead and push Setup. Red light comes on, it stays on. Push the device uh, button that you want to use for this one. I'm going to use auxiliary in this case. 0466. That's my code for the Bose soundbar. All right, let's give it a try. All right, let's go ahead and hit the power button, see if it comes on. There we go. Volume. And it's working. Good. Let's talk about the auto code search here for a minute, uh, just in case uh, that method doesn't work. Uh, you're going to want to do the same thing. Push the setup until the power button glows. And then you're going to want to push the device code that you want to try to find the code for. I just pushed TV in this example. And push power button. Now you see it blinking there. That means it's sending out 10 codes. Now, of course, you're going to have to go through this. If you're 500 codes down, then you're going to have to go through it 50 times. And just push it again, and then uh, we're just going to pretend... Oh, it was one of those codes. 
Okay, so the TV just turned off, so you know it was one of those 10 codes. Uh, now you have to find out which one. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is manually turn the TV back on and push volume up. That's going to go through the 10 codes. There's one, two, three, there's 10. And then up oh, on the fourth one, it responded. Okay, so now push the TV button again, and it stored that code. Now it'll work. Uh, we don't know which code it was. Could have been any of the codes, but as long as it works, that's all. That's the point. Uh, you can do this method with anything that you're trying to find a uh, code for. Um, let's just do one more example of the uh, direct entry on an Apple TV, for example, just to uh, to show you that you can use any of these devices, uh, device buttons here uh, to control that. Okay, so let's do an Apple TV. Okay, once again, push setup. We're going to put the Apple TV under the cable. Okay, it's 1093. 1093. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to push one of the four arrow keys that are around the uh, OK button. There we go. It came on. And there's one more pretty neat feature on this remote that um, I should show you how to do real quick. It's the uh, master volume feature. Uh, what you would use this for is say, okay, I have a sound bar, and uh, you want to control the volume of the sound bar without affecting the TV or the satellite box. Uh, so you want to uh, do this. Here we go again with the setup. Push and hold. Now remember, I've got the Bose set up on the auxiliary input, so we're going to push that. Mute. Volume up. we got two blanks. All right. Now what you can do, I'm going to have the remote in TV mode, and it should still work the volume on the Bose. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, I have the remote in TV mode, and as you can see, the light is flashing on the Bose, so that's working great. Now, to disable this feature, if you don't want that, you just do the opposite. Push setup again. Now, push the button that was controlling the audio, auxiliary in this case. Mute, volume down. Okay, now it's disabled. That's all there is to it. All right, guys, that's about it. That sums up the uh, basic features of this remote control. If you like this video, smash on that like button and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.